Hey guys, as always, I want to extend a big welcome back to uh, returning uh, people here and a big welcome to anyone that's never been on one of my videos or my channel before. And I'm hoping by the end of this video you will want to subscribe. Uh, today we're going to be test flying my Phantom 3 with the uh, new update 1.3.2, I think. Let me just double check that. 1.3.20. And um, we're going to be flying it uh, kind of uh, from the escarpment out by Milton, Ontario. I um, found a nice location where I actually knocked on the lady's door uh, for this house that was for sale and said, hey, do you think you would uh, mind if I uh, took off from your driveway? And she didn't really care too much. Anyhow, I got her contact info for her realtor. I said I'd send her uh, a few aerial shots of her house um, in exchange for doing it, but uh, that way they don't have to bother paying for that if they wanted it. And um, so with the new update, I did notice that uh, the lag is more or less gone on my Note 4. So that was great because there was some time where it was just so laggy that the the video really, the feed was no good for FPV. Uh, you'd have to stay so high, you couldn't risk um, hitting anything waiting for the lag. And on the iPad, there's absolutely no lag. It's, uh, well, pretty well no lag anyhow. Uh, but the problem being is that you can't do the screen recorder on the iPad. And I want to be able to give you guys the telemetry info, which hopefully it comes out clear enough on this. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of uh, trying out a new program for the uh, video. And my AZ screen recorder that I use to film these videos with uh, for the screen grab on my phone uh, has been putting it into portrait mode and so I gotta do all this cropping and stuff to get it down to landscape to make it usable anyhow so we're uh, we're flying along here and um, as I was getting closer and closer to the city I was thinking oh geez how far am I gonna go here I was thinking from her place that I would have had a long time before I got anywhere near the city but it just uh, wasn't the case it, uh, you'll see as a fast approach that um, it, it, it's very quick before the city's right below me and I just decided to keep going. You got to put your faith in the uh, in the Phantom here and just trust that it is going to do the right thing and when it does lose signal return to home. So I'd also like to mention that when it actually does uh, lose its signal, it's um, I was actually still flying, and I just really I thought that was far enough. And so when I stopped, is when it lost its signal completely. So it is possible that I could have flown a little further, and uh, I can't help but wondering if I didn't fly over city, if I had had more uh, country land, if the flight could have carried on. It seems to me that uh, it's kind of as I hit Wi-Fi and cell towers and all that that uh, maybe that's got something to do with why my uh, signal finally did cut out. But not really sure. Anyhow, it was still an enjoyable flight. Uh, every flight I do get a little more comfortable with the drone and that the return to home is going to work. I am still calibrating every flight, even if it's uh, in the same location. I'm just, I'm just doing it as long as I know that I don't have any strong magnetic uh, interference around me or electromagnetic, then uh, I choose just to do that for safety. Um, and I always when I make sure now that when I take off, I look at that little map on the bottom left and see that the, uh, the arrow is facing the right way when it's going away from me and not facing backwards as it did on the uh, video I uploaded where I almost lost the drone um, flying around a ship under the Burlington Skyway. Now that was a bad location to calibrate, and I guess in that instance I would have been better not have calibrating it um, there. But uh, it's it's all good. I managed to get it home. There I've lost my signal, and uh, you can see in the distance I'm way up on that hill there, halfway up it anyway. Um, we're gonna climb up a bit here, I think, and then uh, it's gonna start heading back and. So this whole time you can see that I'm just looking at the gray screen going do 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 hopefully you're going to connect do, 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 do. and uh yeah I really I don't like the waiting game waiting for it to establish a connection back 
um, that's when you're kind of sitting there second guessing, oh, should I have gone? And, you know, do I, should I have pushed the limits? But uh, I didn't pay all this money to, uh, to have a toy that just, you know, flies in circles in the park. Uh, I've got to push the limits of it to make it worthwhile, whatever. It was almost 1500 bucks. Um, y you've got to, uh, you got to see what it can do. What if, if, if you only want a little park flare, then there's a lot of, uh, a lot of cheaper options for that. Now I, I did notice that on my flight home, I actually lost signal a couple of times. So it's, uh, it's kind of, or at least the once anyhow, we'll have to see on the playback. I'm watching with you guys here as I'm, uh, recording the audio. And, uh, so still cut out here. Um, but all of a sudden it'll uh, zip back and we'll be fine. But, uh, it was a, a little breezy this day. When I, uh, when I left my place, it, it was nice and calm. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. I had been wanting to take the chance to get out here and do this. I already pretty well knew where I wanted to go. I just didn't know my exact takeoff point. But uh, anyhow, I... Um, got out to where we are and along the way I was driving up Appleby Road and you'd see all these flags blowing and the trees bending and I was like oh geez I don't know if this is going to work but I know the uh, the Phantom seems to be a pretty stable machine it handles the wind so um, that's great I just uh, I've, I've got to put my trust in it like I said before and really hope for the best And you can see uh, on the bottom corner, we're now back into map zone. I'm still flying in airplane mode for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to overload my phone and heat it all up and all that. But also because it's really annoying when you when I'm recording this and flying it and my phone's dinging. I got emails, I got messages, I got phone calls, all this. Um, you know, I work from my phone a lot and... Uh, I'd rather just throw it to airplane mode for that few minutes of uh, while I'm flying around and avoid all that. I will be trying to do a live stream for you guys again in the near future. Um, I haven't tried since the update. I did try before and it was terrible, but I do attribute a lot of that to the lag on the phone itself. And I haven't checked to see if Note 4 is now a supported device or not, but perhaps I'll do... Uh, try with the iPad. I haven't tried that, so we'll go and we'll give that a try as well, and perhaps that'll work a little better. So uh, we're slowly making it back here. Um, I'm kind of watching a little bit of a small clip as I'm recording this, unfortunately, so I can't see our speed, but I'm sure we're booting along just fine. It was a three kilometer journey which uh, that's 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 pretty good. I um, I very well may be uh, installing something called the Windsurfer. If you don't know what that is, just type into the search bar DJI Windsurfer. And if I do, I will come back to the exact same location and uh, try to fly the exact same route and see what happens. This is a little do-it-yourself antenna mod uh, that adds little uh, reflective dishes behind uh, behind the antennas and it, it, it appears that it does increase your range so if I uh, if I go ahead and do that I will uh, do the same thing I'll do the screen grab of it and we will see exactly how that turns out because now we have our uh, baseline to go off of the uh, three kilometers and we could see Potentially, maybe we could hit four, or, you know, even three point five would be uh, would be decent. Um, and hopefully, this lady would let me in her driveway again. She really didn't care at all, though. She was probably in her eighties, and um, she didn't know what a drone was, and says she doesn't have email. And but she uh, just smiled and told me to go ahead. So. Um, it's a nice little house up there. It's uh, it was a really good spot to fly from. I uh, am hoping to get out and do some more droning videos for you guys too. It's just been uh, really busy working and stuff. So 
hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video. We're gonna about to cut it out. I'm hoping that you will subscribe to see more videos. And uh, if you don't mind clicking that like button, it's free and it means a lot to me. And at this point, keep your eyes open for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll be doing a little contest, $100 giveaway. A little something to say thanks because I do appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again, guys.